I think that's what we're talking about. We just didn't use David's artful words. This is augmented intelligence. This is not artificial. We're taking what is already known and creating a first draft, creating a first draft of a brief or some other writing, getting that information that would otherwise take hours and hours of research and creativity, and then presenting it to the human. To me, that is the perfect illustration yeah. of the human side of AI. You're using augmented intelligence then to help as a first step. But it's about use case, right? So a human using it, augmentation for sure. But the artificial piece can come in when we start talking about creative AI and the generative AI. Yeah. So you feed it enough, yeah. prompt it to go do something on its own. And uh, I think there's an important distinction there. Yeah. But actually interesting, we're talking about use cases. You probably saw the EU. Oh man, that was just last week. Though. Regulation proposal finalized this June. I was thinking it's the negotiation piece, what they want to look to pass. It kind of feels like GDPR almost with very severe penalties, but they're looking at use case and risk and not so much the tool set, but how you use it, how you deploy it. Yeah. Pretty interesting. They're leading the way in Europe, of course, on the regulations. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> That's the topic of a whole nother uh, one of our sessions here, and that is regulation in the EU versus the US and how we do 